I know what it could be like. You've been training really hard, you think you're doing everything that you can in order to build muscle, but yet you don't seem to be getting any results. Well, I'm gonna give you my 10 top tips to help you get past that stage. So my first tip is that you need to follow a training program. You need to have a goal and a purpose when you go into the gym. You need to make sure that training program is also designed around you and your needs. So for example, my training program focuses a lot more on my shoulders and on my legs because that is an area where I feel like I'm lacking. So it puts a lot more emphasis on those muscle groups so I can aim to get much bigger and much stronger in those areas. So you need to make sure that your training program is designed for you and for your goals specifically. So that then brings me nicely onto my second tip, which is to not ignore your weaknesses. You need to make sure that you give adequate amount of attention to all your muscle groups so that you don't end up with imbalances later down the line. You wanna make sure you have a nice, balanced, symmetrical physique, and it may not seem like a big deal now, but as you get bigger, you'll start to see the discrepancies and the problems that you'll come across if you don't train your body fairly now. My third and very important tip is that you need to be tracking your progress. You need to be tracking your body weight, you need to be tracking your body fat, you need to be tracking your measurements either by photos or by measuring tape, and you also need to be tracking the weights and the exercises that you're doing. It's so important because you need to know that what you're doing is working. It will also give you a great morale boost if you find you are making progress, but equally, it gives you the opportunity to change things if you find that you're not making progress. Tip number four is to make sure that you're having enough calories and make sure you're having enough protein. So your nutrition needs to be spot on, especially for you hard gainers and skinny guys. You need to make sure you're having plenty of calories in order to build muscle and build size. Now a little bonus tip for you is if you're struggling to get your calories in, you can always drink your calories. So you can have protein shakes and smoothies and things like that and that just helps boost your calories and make it much easier for you rather than having to slave over a big plate of food, which I know can be intimidating, especially when you're not hungry. Tip number five is to try and get yourself a good training partner. And I say good training partner because having an unreliable training partner can actually have the opposite effect. You wanna make sure that your training partner cares and wants it just as much as you do, because they can help when you have those days where you just really can't be bothered and going to the gym may actually feel like a chore. The other good reason to have a training partner is because they can help you with those all important last few reps that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do without a spot or some guidance to get you through it. Tip number six slightly contradicts the last tip ever so slightly, but it is to run your own race. And what I mean by that is stay focused on your goals and not worry so much about what other people are doing. You can get sidetracked and concerned by what other people are lifting or by what other exercises people are doing, but you need to make sure that you stick to your training program, stick to your nutrition, and don't let anyone throw you off, and you'll definitely get towards your goals. So lucky number seven tip is to make sure that you set long-term and short-term goals. So think of it as your long-term goals are where you want to be. That is exactly the physique that you want. And your short-term goals are the little incremental steps that you're gonna make in order to get there. So if we look at adding weight as an example, you may set yourself a 12 week goal of adding seven kilograms of lean muscle. So therefore you would break that down into short term goals of maybe two kilograms a month or one kilogram every two weeks. It helps with tracking and it'll be great for your morale. Tip number eight is to make sure that you keep yourself in the rep range of eight to 12 reps and three to four sets. Reason for this is that that is the ideal amount of overload and time under tension that you want to be putting on your muscles in order for them to grow. Now I'm not saying to completely ignore low rep sets and high rep sets because they can be very good for building strength and for building endurance and other things. So make sure that you have a diverse range of sets but focus mainly on the 8 to 12 rep range as that is when you're going to get the most results. Tip number nine is that rest is just as important as everything else. Now it can be overlooked massively especially in early stages because people will think if I'm not in the gym and I'm not lifting and I'm not working out then I'm getting smaller and I'm not building muscle but it is not true. Your body will build and recover when you are resting and that is what you need to allow it to do. Now there is such a thing as overtraining and there is a good indicator for this in where you don't make many strength improvements and that is a sign that you should take a step back and maybe do some rest because really you should be able to find yourself making some good strength progress 
week on week if you're giving your body enough rest and enough fuel through nutrition. Now everybody's different so you need to work out for yourself what a good recovery time would be for you. However, I think a good starting point would be to train two days on, one day off and aim to train each muscle group at least once a week. You can then make adjustments further down the line depending how you feel. The tenth and final tip is that you need to be consistent and this is probably the most important tip. Building muscle isn't easy, not naturally anyway. So you need to stay dedicated and focused if you want to get results. You need to make sure that you give equal amount of focus to the three components which is training, nutrition and rest. If you do that then I'm definitely sure that you'll hit your goals. So let's take a quick look at the summary of tips in this video. The first tip is to make sure that you follow a training program. Second tip is don't ignore your weaknesses. Third tip is to track your progress. Fourth tip is to make sure you're having enough calories. Fifth tip is to try and get yourself a good training partner. Sixth tip is to run your own race. Seventh tip is to set long-term and short-term goals. Tip number eight is to stay in the rep range of eight to 12 reps and three to four sets. Tip number nine is that rest is just as important. And tip number 10 is to be consistent. Now, if you put all those together, I can guarantee you that you will see results. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.